All right, people of Moore, <clears throat> we are approaching the end of the academic year. The students are deep into their exams and things that are going on. Um, so uh, as you see them, you'll probably see them frazzled and all over the place. They are here till late hours of the night studying uh, and roughhousing and all kinds of stuff. So uh, it is what it is, say a prayer for them. For us, as we move forward, um, our schedule, remember the schedule will begin to shift already. This weekend is the last 5 and 9 p.m. So we still have the 5 and 9 p.m., but this is the last weekend for them. Um, as we move from there, uh, it'll return to our 4, 39, and 11 a.m., our summer schedule. This week, we have just the holy hours, uh, Monday uh, through Friday. So this is the last week of holy hours. It went from all day adoration to holy hours, and then those will disappear um, after this last full week. Uh, Thursday, so daily masses, all this stuff will be posted this week. So we're going to have, we'll, you know, like we did last year, the summer uh, daily masses, when will they, when we will have them and when we won't be posted um, both on our website, but also on the front door of the chapel. So you'll be able to see that uh, very soon. Um, when it comes to daily masses, we have our daily masses as normal this week, with the exception of Thursday. Thursday, the daily mass is at uh, 3.30. So that's the baccalaureate mass. It's scheduled in that time because there's all kinds of graduation events. So we'll host the baccalaureate mass for our students and their families, um, the, the seniors and their families. All are welcome, but that's, uh, you know, who will be there celebrating. And then we'll host a reception. Um, we had a very well-received reception last year, so we're looking forward to doing that again this year. So it'll be in the center after the 3.30 baccalaureate mass. Um, also, this Tuesday is Midlands Gives. So Midlands Gives, you know, we jump into that as well. We use this as a way to fund um, our focus missionaries, our focus program. I believe this year the, the goal is $15,000. Uh, um, so you may or, or may not know the diocese helps us with that, but there's a portion that they, they don't cover uh, for this year. And so we, we use that as a way to, to help cover that. Um, so we have five focus missionaries this year. And um, they do, they fundraise their own salary, but the host institution also has to pay um, uh, a cost to the mothership, <laughs> the focus mothership. So each year right now, we're in the $80,000 range. That's, that's our portion to, they have a certain amount for each um, missionary. So that's how much our institution pays uh, to have focus here. So it's a significant cost. So Midlands gives us a way for us to to attack that and, and and give back a little bit. So we're very grateful. There'll be some more information at the masses this weekend uh, for you to take and and uh, spread around and spread the love and all that jazz. Um, so it'll be good. Uh, what else we got? Schedules. Midlands gives back glory mass. So that's where we're at. So we're moving into you know our fourth week of Easter this weekend, and it's kind of crazy how quickly it flies by. So we are preparing, the students will begin to, their presence will begin to ebb this following week. Um, and then we'll have graduation uh, and then we'll move on from there. Also a reminder that we have First Communion. So here's some other things up. First Communion at the 11 a.m. Mass this weekend. Um, and we'll have a little shindig after here in the center. And then that next weekend is confirmation over at St. Peter's. Uh, so I'll remind you of that next week. All right. Well, that's what we got going on. Um, be safe. Pray for the students as they pull out the rest of their hair here this, uh, this weekend and beginning of the week. And we'll see you soon.